Okay, you got Paul Wooten here, WRF Customs. Um, here is the uh, first part of the video that I've been promising everybody on the Baja Breaker. Um, and I refer to South Texas Diecast a lot. He doesn't pay me to use his site. He doesn't pay me to mention his site. But when you have a good tool in the in the toolbox, you use it. So it's really cool. You can go on his website, and you actually can pull up South Texas Diecast. You can pull up the the model that you're looking for, the casting. And through here, he lists um, when it came out, uh, even the stock number, and then the variations. This one here has a total of three pages worth of Baja Breaker. So I'm going to have to break this up into a couple of different videos. I'm pretty much going to do what I call the Blackwall era. We've been from 1978. The last version that actually came out with a um, with Blackwalls on it was 1997. Even though Blackwall is kind of already washed up by then. But that was the last one that was issued with black walls in it. So to start off, um, back in 1978, I was eight years old. My dad owned a 4x4 van. It was a Chevrolet, though. But um, Hot Wheels came out with the Baja Breaker van, which is based on a 70s model Ford Econoline van. And um, vans have been a favorite of mine for for years. So I'm gonna start off. Um, back in the day, they didn't do first editions. They didn't do first runs. They didn't do new models. They just came out with cars. Cause back then, just about anything new that came out, I think they released only a few cars each year. But we have what we call the first release Baja Breaker. Black Wall, 1978. Um, back then, um, the hood did open. It was a plastic hood opened, which was part of the interior. Um, had a winch up front, headlights, grill, push bar, 4x4, luggage rack, um, uh, fog lamps on top, the old 80s uh, style um sun sunlight roof the old moon eyes um side windows like the old 70 and 80s vans but what makes this one so much more unique than the one that i'm going to show you next and from this point forward you will not see this on any baja breakers um story i was given was this was the first run and they had a mold problem not as in mold in your uh, refrigerator but a mold it has what they call the rear door post which is between the two lo louvered windows this disappears shortly after this casting was released um, in the very beginning of 1978 so this is the first edition with this variation if you do not have this variation of the gray Baja breaker try and find it i've got a few of them i may have a couple beaters but i don't have very many it was really hard for me to find this one but uh anyway that so we're gonna go to the number two we're gonna kind of roll on i just showed you the features about it in the original um days uh this one was made in hong kong got a hong kong base all right we still got a Hong Kong base. And we have number two, Baja Breaker. Same Baja Breaker. No rear door post. It's the same exact model. Still Hong Kong. But they must have had some type of casting problem. Your very next model, which after a short period of time, 1979, they come out with the motocross team which is also a scene machine it is the red um team motocross baja breaker and 
if you can barely see in there a little bit you can see inside but it's actually got um, a couple guys working in the um, thing and this particular one of course has got the scene thing in the back so it has no post and that could have been the reason why they got rid of the post um, because they wanted to do these seam machines so it still opens but this is a pretty tough tough model to find here and then we went into a really tough model that came out it was the green Baja breaker if you look around the Baja breaker in the ribbon it is a olive color this one is probably is not in very good condition but this particular Baja breaker mint in a package or even mint loose is about a $200 Baja breaker um, a buddy of mine actually gave this one to me for my birthday which is in pretty good shape um, he ended up picking it up for about 40 so I mean and we're still Hong Kong so one of these days I'll find one um, that's mint but I just can't afford it so then we went to the, the I do have ones a little more mint than this one and I cannot find it I may have to find a mint one later on but this was actually one I played with when I was a kid so I really not enthused about replacing it but if you look it's got the blue in the ribbon rather than the olive drab which does look a whole lot better that olive kind of just faded and we still have a plastic um, lift hood hood still metal base Hong Kong then we get into another name change called the circus cat and this is a pretty tough um, um, release also this is the Ringling Brothers Barlow and Bailey Circus Baja Breaker, but they call it the Circus Cat because it's got a circus cat on it, steel plastic hood. It's got the scene in the back. I can't remember what's in it. I'll look for us. It's got a big tiger in it. If you can barely see the tiger, you might have glimpsed it just. Anyway, you get the gist of it. This is also a tough piece. It's got a couple little flea bites on it. I ended up giving like 10 bucks for this truck. I was blown away. I have um, at the tail end of the um, videos when I go get done, I'll show you some of my ones that I had in place of it for a while. You couldn't even tell what it was. So that was the end of the Hong, well, not, not yet. It was almost the end of Hong Kong um, era. This orange ball breaker came out. And it actually came out with a Hong Kong base. Um, they did away with the Hong Kong base and did the, what they call the, I call it the stamp over. You look at the raised Malaysia where they're covering up the Hong Kong. This is the transition into the Malaysia built. But, of course, as we go, there's still no post in the back. And, and I pretty much kind of, um, the myth about the post, someone said about the casting messing up. I think they did it on purpose. Once they did those seam machines, they wanted to be able to have that open back window. Here's the first variation with it with the printed, normally printed Malaysia. There we go. Printed Malaysia on on the base which is still the orange uh, ball breaker black wall still has a plastic hood still has metal base then the favorite of my life is this is when and i have a better version of this one somewhere but this also was my childhood car this is the real rider um the real rider gray hub um ball breaker Back in the day, I had this blue mark on there. I would put on her when I was playing with my friends and stuff to make sure that I had, we all had different colors. And there actually is a um, white hub version of this one, and I do not have it. Um, I thought I did, but I don't. So, you can see the wheels on this one are a little rusty. I played with this one a lot. Still opening hood still 
metal base. So then we get into what we call the A-Team van. Um, I, I have these in no particular order on the A-Team. So then we have the black Baja Breaker. Steel plastic hood. Um, got the A-Team stripe on it. Red, I mean, uh, gray hub. Real riders. Um, post, of course, is still gone on the back. This is still, this is turned into Malaysia. Still pretty good tight. Then we have the ball breaker with the black walls. A team. Still plastic hood. Yep. Nope. Nope. We done went to a hard hard hood. Doesn't turn metal on us. Hood doesn't turn metal on us. So we have we've ended the the metal. I mean the plastic hood. And then we went in the construction tire um, Baja Breaker, which was this variation here, A Team still, with the construction um, wheels. I'll get you there. All right, I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit. Then we had these ATV variation. This had the construction wheel. There is a variation of this one with the black walls. I am missing that one. Of course, still metal base. Then we got into the Simpsons, which I don't have all six. I only have the narrow stripe um, variation. The narrow stripe variation with the chrome construction type wheel. Um, it's got a scene in there. You can see Homer in there. Each one has a different scene. Then I have the Simpsons skinny um, stripe with the white construction style wheels. It also has a, you can see it in there, it's a scene machine. It's a pretty sweet piece. Then you had the yellow um, construction style wheel. Skinny Stripe, uh, Simpson. I meant to show you the other side on all of them, but I think they're all the same. Um, and this one also has a scenery in it. You can barely see it, but there you go. So that's that one. And then we get into what they call the Wide Open. It was a tattoo style Baja Breaker. And I've waited for a while to do this. So we're going to put the old beater right there. I have a mint in the package. Which also came with tattoos. And it says tattoo machine. But we're going to crack this bad boy right here on freaking camera. Well, if I can. I've been needing to put this mint one in my collection for a long time. But... This video really makes it um, a good opportunity to uh, open it. Ooh, wow, there's a whole freaking thing of uh, tattoos in here. Well, we're going to get tattooed up. Maybe not. They're just instructions. All right, so we have a mint tattoo. It's got a big old teeth on it. Teeth on the hood. Teeth on the side. This is one bad and it's also a scene machine I don't know what's in there well guess what it is a scene machine but there's no scene in it it is completely empty so you can't see nothing because ain't nothing in there as you can see you can see all the way through it so that bad boy is taking the place of that other beater and this beater is going to go in my old, um, who knows, this, this dude right here may end up going to somebody. So, the last um, black wall version of the Baja Breaker that ever came out, and the base had changed to China by this time. I'm, I meant to uh, note that. The Simpsons were the last Malaysia. This one here. 
China. This is the same machine. But I went Chinese here. Oop. Well, here at the end of the video, it's not wanting to cooperate. But anyway, this was the last black wall um, version of the Baja Breaker. So we are going to stop it right here and part two coming soon.